Yeah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> hey, now, hey, look, now, now's the time to be nervous because I think we're live. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let me know when you see us live. Look like I say we live. Once you tell me you, you got a connection, you can see us. I'm waiting on you. Yes, yes, there. Oh, there we go. Hey, Jersey One, say we live. All right. Hey, everyone. <laughs> huh? Hello from Tampa. Okay. We got uh, Teresa Walker from uh, Tampa, Florida. Okay, everybody can see me. What's up, Kiwana? Kiwana's Kitchen, Joanne Johnson, uh, Christian Lee. Uh, let me go to the top. There's people in here, you know, just from the gate. We got Soul Food Cooking. And he gonna be our uh they're gonna be our moderator for today. Reverend Laird, uh, I don't know if they back yet, but they will be in here. We got oh Rachel Ray, Brooklyn, uh, New York. Got much love for you. Congrats on two hey, thank you. I do appreciate that. Uh I guess everybody can uh, hear me good. I guess everything is uh sounding good. We got James Hutchin. Hey, what'd he do, fam? That's right. Hey, glad to see you. Hey, now let, let me just say this before I turn it over, you know, uh to Elisa. I'm bad with names. I'm trying to not have my Walmart specials on. You know what I mean? I got it blown up as big as I can get it. You know what I mean? So, hey, bear with me if I beat your name up. Hey, just pronounce it, enunciate it in the words, and then we're going to get it right. James, we got Angelina Robertson. Uh, look, I was about to say in the kitchen with Elisa, but that's you, Elisa. Hey, you can go ahead and say whatever you want to say, Elisa. You know what I mean? You got uh, your people in here. I'm just saying hello to everybody that I see. I'm going back down here to the bottom. Uh, we got Jacqueline and the Dad. What's good? Jamie and Ricky. Terry T. Hey, just so many names. You know what? Uh, man, cooking with Josh. <laughs> cooking with Josh and Babe. There we go, folks. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, is that Josh or is that Babe? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's Josh. Hey, good morning, bro. What's going on with you? <clears throat> All right, Alicia. Road to BC Parks. Okay, I see y'all. I'm going to come back to it. Elisa, go ahead, say your name. You guys all know. Say something, Elisa. This is your time. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm just waiting for you to, to greet everyone. I'm having a bit difficulty to go around with all the names, but I want to say hi to everyone. I'm glad to be here again with my great friend, A.B., and I'm really excited to get uh, cooking <laughs> today. A.B. is going to take the lead, and he's going to show me what to do and how to do. I've never made a gravy like this myself, so I'm really excited. And uh, before I forget, like last time, I'm Elisa. I'm from In the Kitchen with Elisa. I would love you to come and say hi to my channel. I'm um, going to share <laughs> the link to my channel for anyone who wants to visit me. I also have a cooking channel mainly concentrating on baking, um, what some of you might know already if you know me. And uh, I live in Germany. I live in, <laughs> I'm actually from <laughs> Finland. So we are a bit, uh, what we are doing here is we are bringing cultures together with AB, showing you that food connects people and having fun together, making some delicious food. So really excited because I'm going to learn something new today and hopefully some of you will also be learning something new with uh, a beef gravy recipe. All right. Uh, so you know, I got it. Hey, listen, Elisa, you know what? You like family. We've been talking for over a year now. I'm going to go ahead and go out on the, you know, and just be myself and just, I'm going to tease you because you was talking so much before this live started. Soon as I said we hit the live button, you cannot quit smiling. Where are all in words at now? Hey, Rob D, what it do? Joey, uh, the real Joey B. Hey, I seen you just put that uh, in there. Inglewood, that's right, man. I don't know how big of a delay it is, but you saw me throw something up for you, though, bro. Hey, so listen. Okay, you know this show is called Culinary Differences, right? You know myself here. I'm in the states, the United States, and then we got Elisa. She just told you she's originally from Finland, living in Germany. So how different can that be? Even when she speaks, you know, right off the bat today, there's something different going on. So we thought, like, you know what, some of her culture, 
and some of the things that she wants she sees over here she's trying to you know like replicate and learn so that's how we come up with this name called culinary differences you guys hey real simple hey if you like that name i think it's an awesome name to tell you the truth i think this got the potential to you know be huge you know uh hey one day we're gonna get elisa over here, here her and her boyfriend we're gonna get them over here to the states you know what maybe we can do a live side by side now i want to say this look cooking with uh Hey, let me just say this. Let me just start off. CJ and Josh and Bay, we got to schedule something, bro. You know what I mean? Before I get yanked out of here, I got all the time in the world. Hopefully, I'm going to have it forever. But my folks in there right now, I know they're shaking their heads saying I'm not. So listen, we got to plan something. Get something on, uh, get something together. We got to go live. Find out which house we're going to do it at. Let's all get together and put three kings in the kitchen on the grill or whatever we're going to do. All right. And I just want to say this, too. It says, Oso's, uh, is that Oso's Barbecue? Hey, I just want to know, are you uh, are you Samoan? I, I just want to know that. Hey, if you Samoan, also, Oso's Barbecue, just uh, go ahead and, and drop a, uh, a seven in the chat. If, if you drop that seven, I know what that means. Then. All right, y'all. Hey, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so listen, you know it's Thanksgiving, right? So, I mean, this is the Thanksgiving season, you know, the holiday. And then we got Christmas falling right behind. So what I'm going to show you guys today is, this is how we did it. We tried to figure out how we was going to do this. So myself and uh, Elisa, she got it. Hey, is your, uh, go ahead and show your turkey. Because what we did was, instead of us trying to, you know, season one and cook it, then the show would be, you know, like super long. We're trying to keep it down to one hour. So what we did was we both prepared, uh, I did a, I just did a breast side. I did one side of a breast and then there's hers right there. So look, this is the end result, you guys. Oh, it smells so nice. <laughs> huh? I love the smell of the spices. Oh yeah, I'm 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 sure. And for myself, here's my if you guys can see, there's my my breast right there. Now, I'm gonna show you how you can come up with this too. Look, everybody's not gonna make themselves a uh, a large turkey. I got two turkeys. You know, I'm going to do them. I think I'm gonna smoke one turkey and then one I'm gonna do in the oven for the holidays. But what we want to show you is just how we season. You know, she's learning in the American traditional way of seasoning the uh, a turkey, and you just saw her end result, and you just saw my end result. A B, yes. can I just say something quickly? I want everyone to show some clapping hands for A B. Before I forget, because this is something I wanted to say, I want to say congrats to you on your 200,000. I remember when I started following you myself, it was like the beginning days. I don't think you even have like, I think you have like maybe a couple of hundred followers. So it has been a long way since I've been following AB. And I was so happy when I saw that 200,000 mark. And I would like everyone to... Show some thumbs up and throw some clapping hands to AB to celebrate this, uh, Mark. And you know, 500 uh, is thank you. <laughs> hey, you know, I didn't know you was going to say nothing like that. Hey, you know what? I consider myself being, you would know, you might not know what this means, but I'm an OG. You know what I mean? Hey, Rob D in here, he know I can't be in here shed no tear. I guess unless it was tattooed on my eye. Not for real, y'all. Hey, but listen, you know what? Thank you. It means a lot. Hey, thank you from everybody. You know what? It was a major uh, feat. You know, I'm kind of glad that I passed the 100,000, 200, like snug up on me. I mean, it's here. Uh, we're going to move forward. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying not to look at it again until we get to five, and then we're going to put that M on there. We're going to, mm, when we get to one million, <laughs> hey, Food Network better watch out. Hey, thank y'all. Okay, so look, we talked about the uh, turkey. That's what we're going to do with the turkey. You saw the end result. Matter of fact, let me pull mine out of the refrigerator now. My other half. So it's going to be a whole lot of turkey sandwiches this week. And we're going to make a great. <laughs> <I know>. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. A whole lot of turkey. I, know, I have so much turkey in my fridge already. And then we have this, and we're just two. So it's a lot of turkey for the people. <laughs> <laughs> right. When Thanksgiving get here, we might not want to do it. Okay, look. So. Got up this morning, just mashed a couple of potatoes. Don't have a whole lot of potatoes. We'll just show it right here. Got some mashed potatoes, you guys. Hey, this is for the presentation at the end. We're going to put this, and then we're going to carve that uh, 
the turkey breast, you know what I mean? And then we're going to make this gravy live. Now, I know some of you got most of you guys are in here, you know, to check out this gravy. I'm going to put the camera on the uh, on my pan and we're going to get started. But I'm going to do the uh, gravy. We're going to uh, probably what do you think, Elisa? You want to do it last? You want to go ahead and just start doing the seasoning of the uh, turkey now? I think we should start with the seasoning the turkey because we don't want the, the gravy to sit so long. Well, that's what I think. <laughs> Once okay. it's ready, we want to get the gravy on the mashed potatoes. And I think we should start with uh, with seasoning. All right. Uh, loyalty team grilling. Need help with my YouTube. You said your page is real helpful. Talk to me, uh, loyalty team. Hey, any Anybody that know me know I love to talk YouTube. So listen, as we getting everything prepared, I can you know we can talk. Anthony Harris, what's up? Jacksonville, oh Jackson, Mississippi, that's what's up. Historical park right down that way, Jackson, that's right. Uh, so I'm gonna let you start first. I'm gonna watch what you do, uh, Elisa, and then I'm gonna go through the comments. I'll let you know if anything is uh, you know what's going on. I'll keep you up to date. Hey, what's up, Rick? Rick, man, you know you're only two and a half hours away from me, bro. I don't, I don't understand how we ain't came up with nothing yet. All right, Elisa, do your thing. Hey, and please tell me if I'm doing something wrong. I'm just gonna do it like I did with the previous one, so you just uh, let me know <laughs> if I'm doing right. So I have the seasoning here. How was it called again? Can you remind me? I have the mix from from you can you can find the mix. AB links uh, the recipe under oh, this video. You're talking about Creole. That's a Creole seasoning yes. you made. Yes, because right. we don't have it available here, so we decided to share with AB um, a recipe that you can use from scratch. And I can tell you, I made it this week, and I've been using it for my chicken, for the turkey. It tastes amazing. <laughs> it's a really great find for me because I'm going to use the seasoning now. Uh, for my chicken, I think always, <laughs> it's okay. really delicious. So right off the back, I'm going to tell you the difference is, is what you do. Because you're so professional, and you know what I mean? I, I've been following you, obviously, just as long as you've been following me. Uh, I'm going to just say this. Listen, what makes it so hard is, how can I say this? What makes it hard is when we make videos, you know what I mean? We don't really have no ingredients. That's the real truth. So. It's like we got to make it, figure out how much to put in there to make sure it's flavorful, be considered to those who can't be around, uh, who those who can't be around, uh, what's up, Jay Smooth? Those who can't be around so much sodium and stuff like that. You know, uh, so that, that that's a challenge we have. But watching you right now using a spoon, most of us, we would have just poured that right into the bowl, just got like a rough estimate, you know what I mean, and uh, we'd have went from there. Yeah, I'm only adding the, the oil. Hold on one second. Man, really? In the middle of my life, huh? Hey, I'll call you. Yeah, yeah. I'll call you back. All right. <laughs> that was Mad Dog from BZQ, y'all. <clears throat> Let me just go ahead and put this on silent. There we go. All right. So, I wouldn't use the gloves, but because we are on, on the live and I won't have availability to wash my fingers, so I'm going to use the gloves. I know AB is going to frown upon me and say, just use your hands, but <laughs> I cannot wash them uh, anywhere here close, so I'm just going to use the gloves for, um, how do you say, convenience. So I'm just going to pour over the, oh, a moment, pour over the seasoning. Okay. I see you, uh, Rick. I see what you're saying. You say you call later. All right. And CJ, I saw that. It was the 14th. Hey, I'm with you, bro. I'm going to put that in the calendar. Me and you going to talk. We're going to figure it out. And then we're going to make that happen. Hey, for sure. I'm going to be here. Yeah, I'm not going to give you nothing about that. You know what I mean? Uh, the way we were brought up, that's the way we uh, cook. I hear so many people, you know, say stuff like, uh, uh, you know, like, hey, you're not supposed Here, I'll give you this one. Everybody say you're not supposed to put poultry and uh, different types of meat on the same cutting board. My thing is, I've been cooking one way since I've been eight years old. You know what I mean? Uh, just if you learn how to clean, you don't have any issues. Never, nobody that I ever known 
in my family, my mother, my grandmother, nothing like that. Nobody has ever gotten sick that we know of about that. If you clean your utensils, including your cutting boards too, you clean them properly, you'll be okay. And then that whole thing was everybody, I was raised on, you're supposed to wash your chicken. Now the FDA say, don't do it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, hey, just, hey, just be clean. Keep yourself, you know, clean. Make sure your, you know, your work, your work area is clean and you're good right there. Hey, that's what's up, Jay Smooth. Hey, Elisa, you know who Jay Smooth is. I see him on your page. Yeah. Yeah, how are you? <clears throat> you know what, that fella? You know, oh, uh, um, a... I might. I got to get with CJ. I think he might have a, a deep fryer. If he has one, that'll be something me and him can do. You know what I mean? We could plan that during the uh, week. You know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and just say, I'm going to go out on the limb and say his schedule is flexible. Not for real, CJ. Hey, but listen, if you got one, reach out, man. That, that's something I want to do. You know, I usually do it at somebody else's house. You know what I mean? Because for me, I just smoke them. Jay Smooth say he good. Right. I'm still waiting for something. He promised to send me a recipe of his, and I'm still waiting to get that recipe. <laughs> just a little reminder to you. But I have my turkey ready here, and I think maybe you can... Um, how do I say? <laughs> you can season yours now and tell us how you do it. Well, I, you know what? Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and do this then. Let me go ahead. Yeah, move mine aside. So I'm going to pop it in the oven once we are done with the show. And I will have a lot of leftover turkey. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. So, let me go ahead and just take it out. Ilya, that's, uh, that was a bit of Creo, Creo seasoning, right? Creo. The recipe yes. for it, if, right. if you uh, are watching this video, if you pop the description box open, then the recipe for the seasoning is out there. I can only recommend it. It's really, really uh, flavorful, really delicious. Just chilling. I just saw what you wrote right there. You say, what happened to me and Curtin? Hey, just being who I am and the man that I am, I'm not going to say nothing, but all you got to do is you can ask Kurt. I don't figure he'll be a liar. I mean, he'll probably tell you whatever, but hey, me and him, we still good. I mean, I'm good. <clears throat> Thank you, Jay Smooth. I will be waiting for the rest <laughs> Now, what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm washing my turkey. I'm washing it with cold water. Yes. Exactly, that was uh, olive oil with the Cajun or the Creole seasoning. All right. So, oh, you know, let me pick it up. What I'm going to do is just, I just rinsed it, you know, with cold water. And now I'm going to go ahead and, you know, pat it dry. It's going to take another series. <laughs> Thank you, Cooking with CJ. Hey, can you believe somebody came in here? I know I'm live, but they come in here and ask me what happened to me and Kurt in the live. <laughs> hey, you got to say that I'm grown. I done grown up, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we'll go through it one more time. Just want to back. I'll ha I have time for my little uh, drink for <laughs> to grab something to drink. Oh, uh, you talking about this right here? Man, you can get these at Walmart. I got it from Amazon. But you know what? I see them at uh, Walmart. You just got to like, look for them. It's in the food, you know, over there where they sell all the food utensils. Now that I got it patted dry, let's see, do I want to do it on here? Yeah, I'll do it on here. All right. Look, when you buy these halves, you can see, you can see how these are, uh, how to skin. 
All right, I'm starting. You know, the there, huh? there's some very differences for you. I couldn't get any turkey with uh, with skin on, so the only turkey breast I can get in here in the stores in here is some turkey breast without um, without the skin on. So just plain breast. So that's why uh, I like that um, a little bit more olive oil, just so that it gives some taste to it. But obviously, when you have a beautiful skin there, it gives nice taste as well to the turkey. I just noticed AB has a nice skin on that one, right? <laughs> you have a nice skin on the turkey breast. Oh, Monique's makeup says so she's the one that uh, that wants the shrimp and grits uh, from the Pirates House in Savannah. Okay, okay. So, okay, look, just got some olive oil right here. This just happened to be, uh, I think this is extra virgin. I got several of these, and I don't know why I had never, uh, you know, put some type of label label on here. We gonna just put a little bit of this on here, and this is the difference. At least you see these hands, and you can see I've been washing them all morning. They're gonna turn white in just a minute. Right now, I'm gonna be washing them throughout. Behind you, I I have to run out of the camera, so I decided just to go oh, with you, the gloves. You you fine there. You you fine. But I would normally also do it just with my hands. I know don't normally use the gloves. You know what I'm gonna do? Here. You know what I'm gonna do? It's a little different. You know, getting everything ready for for a live. You know. So you are rubbing the turkey first with the olive oil, and then you just rub the the seasoning in uh, dry. Right. Now look, okay. you, we put the ingredients inside of this live, you guys. We put the ingredients, you know, so you guys can know how to, you know, make your own uh, Creole seasoning, and I'll let you know what we were doing, just in case you guys wanted to follow along. But it's kind of like helpful, you know, just for the future anyway. So now that I got this rubbed down. I'm gonna wash my hands. I got my throw a curveball for you, uh, Alicia. And that is, Sorry? I said I got a curveball for you. You made your Creole seasoning, but those who follow me know that I live by and swear by that. You know what? That you know what I'm about to say. I'm finna show it right now. And that's this Creole kick. I wouldn't mind having that as well, but you know, you me know what, uh, here. You know, now that you say that, look, we'll, I'll get some out to you. No worries. No worries. All right. So the difference is. Because, you know, because I know if you say it's good, then it's good. Because I know you appreciate the good stuff. So <laughs> if you're saying it's good stuff, then it definitely is bad. Okay. All right, Jersey one, you talking about the, uh, okay, you want it from the pirate house in Savannah. I would have to, like, look that up, you know what I mean, to see what kind they make. This shrimp and grits is so over, I'm not going to say it's overrated because the flavor is all there. That's one of the best pairings in the world. You know, uh, hey, it's just so easy to make. Now, let me just, let me just go over this part right here. I'm going to take some pepper. Oh, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with uh, some salt. Take a couple of pinches of salt. Get that over. This is my favorite grinder, you guys, but listen to this. You need to do a refill. I don't know about you guys, but uh oh, guess what? Sweet Smoky Joe's has uh listen to this, got smoked peppercorns. Man, how cool is that? You know? Uh and I know it. I made a video, I just haven't released it. I got several videos using different uh, different uh spices of his. Those will be coming out like real soon. Now, take a little bit of this. Hopefully, I don't start sneezing. Happens to you too. I actually forgot something I added to my uh, the turkey that I made before. So I told AB we have a huge bush of rosemary in our garden, so I have some fresh rosemary uh, cuttings. 
So that's something I also added to the turkey. So you can add the seasoning, but then if you want, you can add a couple of uh, branches, if it's branches, <laughs> a little bit of fresh herbs. So I think rosemary and thyme go really, really well with uh, turkey. Also maybe sage, but I usually just use uh, rosemary because we have so much of it in the garden. You know, uh, I've been been talking about doing a, a garden myself and just hearing you talk about it. Actually, I've seen your garden. After seeing it, I decided uh, I'm going to do a garden, but I don't have all the room out here like everybody else does, you know, like some people do. So I'm going to do a bucket yeah. garden. But I'm gonna I, I want to say to you that you can just make it in uh, in this kind of, is it called bucket garden? Um, do you grow the Monique? Do you grow the rosemary inside? Because I think um, they need like a, I, I actually don't know, but it should be able to survive outside even when it gets cold. Like we have this bush, it's like this big, and uh, you don't even need to water it, do anything. Well, depends of course on how uh, dry the climate is where you are. But I think if, if if you have a possibility to have the rosemary outside, I would say uh, better keep it outside because I think it's the kind of herb that prefers to <laughs> be outside rather than inside in the house. I just don't have any um, luck with any herbs that I try to grow inside. So whenever I plant something and I think I, I have this window still, you know, little pots on the window where I can grow some herbs for um, for myself, for my cooking, and they always die. It might be because it's really dry inside or something like that, too warm, or it's probably just because of how it is inside the house. So if, if you have a chance to plant the rosemary outside, then I would recommend to plant it outside. You know, uh, absolutely. Somebody was talking about happy bugs and stuff like that in your uh, garden. And uh, I'm thinking that would be a great series to run on my page. Okay, you guys, I know you, you don't see me right now, but I'm getting ready to put I just wanted to show you this. Now, this is how I season. I just, maybe you guys can see it just so that you can see. Like, I don't know when some people say is how much or something like that. I, I don't have no real measurement for that. For me, I put it on there. I like to see it. And what I do is I get a cast iron skillet, I bring it up to temperature, and I put it skin side down because we want to burn it. Hey, that's what the words I use. I'm talking like I'm really at home. What we want to do is we want to put that flavor on. And then when we do, this is what you come up with right here. Let me get this on. Just a quick uh, answer. Uh, Elsie is asking about uh, rosemary. Yes, you can You can put the rosemary inside uh, the turkey as well. If you're making a whole turkey, or if you're making a breast and you want to cut uh, the breast, uh, like these kind of small cuttings, you can put the rosemary inside, fresh rosemary. You can also use, again, fresh thyme, garlic, whatever. I really like rosemary, so rosemary goes well with um, with uh, turkey. Like sage and uh, sage and dressing, yeah. rosemary and turkey, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I need to get myself some sage in the garden because we have everything else, but we don't have the sage. Monique, uh, do you mean warmth? Like, I don't know, like, um, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure. Do you mean warm outside when it's warm outside or when you have like some this some insects on the uh... yes lemon thyme i also have lemon thyme it's amazing i love the lemon thyme i love thyme but i think i love lemon thyme more carolyn is saying she also grows rosemary sage oregano and basil I didn't have any luck with uh, oregano and basil actually this year. Don't know why. Maybe because I planted it when it was really hot. I should have weeded it maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still a newbie when it comes to gardening, so I'm not sure you should be really be listening to me. <laughs> but I definitely know what not to do, so I can tell you <laughs> how what things don't work and 
well, what things work. So it's, for me, for us, it's been really hard to kill the rosemary because it's so big. Maybe that's why. Okay. Oh. Uh, Monique, miss me with that. Hey, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. You know what? It's been a chore. Let me let me give you the real on uh my hat. Of course, I'm from L.A. When I uh, just for the type of work that I do, I'm usually a culture shock to people in my position. You know, so when I get to a job site, I love having the L.A. hat on. That's how the L.A. really like took off. Uh, everybody, I'm more of a Dodger fan now than I have been in the past. You know what I mean? Uh, like the last, I'm gonna say the last ten years, I kind of like been digging the Dodgers. But you know what? I'm true. In the beginning, I was a Padre fan. So now you know the history on the L.A. hat. And now with my channel, I got so many hats. I got enough hats where I can make videos for the probably six months and wear a different hat. I buy hats by colors, you know, coordinate with my outfit, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but but Houston Astro, yeah, I, I need to have them on. <laughs> you right. You absolutely right. Okay, look, one more thing I want to say. If you're doing a breath, you want to get your internal temperature to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Look, you got to get yourself one of these. And CJ, I saw you got the meat stick. I got it. I'd have to ask my folks where they at. Where is it? It's somewhere around here. But I'm getting ready to do a video on it. I got several instant reads. Listen, this is like cool. You guys got to have one. A lot of times, when, like when you see that I'm going to the grill, uh, you the time, and it varies. If you cook by the internal temperature, that's how you get success, you guys. Hey, same thing in the oven. You tell somebody, hey, 30 minutes at this temperature, it depends on their altitude, you know what I mean, uh, the, the brand, how it is, you know, all of that makes a difference. So, to be honest with you, you got to get yourself a meat stick. I wish I knew where my meat stick was. Anyway, I'm going to find it. That way you can read them instant, you know, those uh, internal temperatures, and that's key right there. Uh, I got one question, though, for you. Uh, Elisa, how big is Thanksgiving in Germany? There is no, there is no Thanksgiving. So I think it's uh, American, and I think also in Canada there's something like that, but we don't still really have it in here. So I want to learn things because we, like AB said, we've been talking for such a long time, and I love learning about the American culture from him from like first hand it and also about all of the dishes because well I could cook mainly um like European fusion. I love American uh, food as well so I try to uh, recreate some dishes in my own way. But um yeah that's why I'm really excited about Thanksgiving this year because I'm trying a lot of different kind of recipes. I also made um, the turkey broth recipe yesterday. I shared that yesterday because I wanted to make mine, but uh, I couldn't have the, the same stuff available, or I didn't have the same stuff available as AB. So what I did, I just used some leftover bones that I had, and that was new to me that you can use, like if you made a turkey and you have the carcass over, or just some bones from turkey, Left over, then you can use those to make uh, a really tasty broth. So I'm learning from you, and I'm loving the Thanksgiving food. I'm loving the turkey. I <laughs> I have so many uh, things that I want to try as well from your channel and from what we've been talking about. What you've been telling me that traditional uh, Thanksgiving food. So we don't celebrate it here, but I kind of do with all the dishes that I'm making. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Was, somebody asked me something about am I in LA? Yeah, I'm, I'm from Cali. I'm about 67 miles outside of Los Angeles right now. <clears throat> all right, let's see. What's up, Kev? I see you in here. So we're what's getting up, ready. Guy? Hey, what's good with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You want to uh, get set up? We can start. I guess we can start uh, setting up. Because, listen, I did, like I said earlier, I did my potatoes. You already saw the uh, the turkey breast. It's ready. You know what I mean? It's been, it's probably been ready for now about, like, almost an hour. So it's ready to be carved. Now I think it's time to go ahead and go with that gravy. I'm going to let you start with the gravy first because, 
You know what I mean? Uh, you you talked about the gravy. You like you want me to look at it? Uh, you got it? <laughs> gravy. I'm gonna go ahead and make you nervous now because gravy, gravy is tricky. Hey, how many people in the chat right now? Drop a seven in there if you think gravy is tricky. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, it, it is. It, for me, it's, it, it's nothing. I've been making it so long, I can make it while I'm sleeping. But I have my list, so <laughs> I should be fine. Pickles, great. Hey, what's going on, Pickle? Pickles barbecue. You say you got to have a uh, the gibbet. Hey, I gotta check your. I gotta check your. Uh... Hey, you know what? I it, hey, the country just like in such an uproar. You know what I mean? I was about to say I gotta check your card, bro. Hey, because I see what you make, and you got that down home. I'm gonna just go ahead and say country slash soul food. You know, so man, I see you when you hit the giblets. Yeah, you know. I got the there's a request, AB, from uh -huh. now. Now I see who, who was it just a second. I'm gonna oh, can I scroll back? I think it was Worry. I'm sorry if, if it's if I'm mistaken, it I cannot find a comment now, but she said, uh, well, I should teach you how to make Wadden. It's a German kind of this uh, kind of meat kind of thing, <laughs> meat rolls. They actually taste really great, so maybe we should think about having that as one of our live shows. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a little bit from. Well, I cannot say my culture because I've not been living in Germany so long, <laughs> but from where I am. Oh, okay. Hey, well, you know what? Uh... One of these episodes, you know what? You got to bring that German cuisine down here to me. You know what I mean? Because I don't know how to make <laughs> yeah. a whole lot of. Uh... Hey, to be honest with you, a lot of stuff that I make, man, I just they just like throw together dishes. You know how hard it is to come up with like this ingredient, this much. You know. All right. Ooh, it's hot. Let me turn my air conditioner on. Camille, I'm about to turn the air on. Oh, okay, you know now is, I, I just lost you for a second. <laughs> All right, you guys hear a little noise of just the, uh, the air conditioner. I'm standing next to this stove. Hey, that's when the air fryer come here. Maybe I should have air fried my turkey. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get you going. Hey, listen, I'm going to show you guys how I make it. We're going to do it like that, but I'm going to let her go first. Ladies first. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. You have huh? to show me how to do it. Come on, walk you through it. Come on, real here. easy. Come on, let all right, real okay. easy. Okay. Real Tell easy. Me. Tell Go ahead me. Put, uh, right. Okay, I will How much butter I mean how much uh oh. how much gravy you wanna make? I mean you said it lasts in the fridge, right? So I can pre make it and then I can use it for the next couple of days, right? Right. You yeah. Right. Yes you can. What's up, dog father? Yeah, hey. Or you never know, I might be passing back through that way. But hey, come on out, man. Got an extra room for you, bro. Hey, we get in. Okay, Lisa. I'm waiting on you. I'm just hey, I'm look, I'm entertaining one. everybody while you uh <laughs> while you get set up. Okay. You ready? I'm sorry, my cat's eating, so we're gonna have to wait a little. Oh, it's not even on. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, nervous. Yeah. Hey, no, you, you, you yeah. might you might have to turn it on. Yeah, you, you're making me do the gravy on my own, so I'm all <laughs> I'm all nervous and shaky. <laughs> so okay, let's hope I can do this. Okay, look. Even though you're waiting for it to heat up, go ahead and just drop two tablespoons of uh, butter in there right now. We're just watching. I have some butter. And let me just say this: uh -huh. whenever you come to the state, bring your cameraman because I'm gonna need it. If I had somebody <laughs> that was able to uh, do what he's doing. I know you just want to steal him from me. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Candy Cody? What it do? JB Barbecue and Guns. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, it's warm. Look, I'm sweating in here. Hey, but LA ain't even, uh, they don't have weather like they have out here. 67 miles make a difference. Uh, they don't have a show out here called Je uh, what is that? Uh, Jeopardy, do they? Elisa, they got Jeopardy out here in Germany? No, no. Okay. 
because they got this that's, music that's uh that goes along with that. I will be playing it right now. It's in my head right now as we wait for your butter to melt. <laughs> well, my story is taking a bit of time, and I'm also using a cast iron pan because I thought that, um, you know, whisking with Teflon is probably not going to be the best thing. So uh, hey, I should get excellent. Yeah. Hey, that's, that, that right there, you touched on something that's monumental. That's right. <laughs> but look, I'm using a Teflon uh, pan, but I'm using a yeah, you have a rubber. Yes, yes, yes. All wings, everything. What's good with you? Hey, I see you in here. Uh, hey, you guys, go by and check that cat out. Uh, all wings, everything. Hey, listen, when I started doing my wing videos, everybody everybody was coming to me telling me, like, hey, bro, you got your wings. But I done ran across somebody else that got, hey, put my wings to shame. And I reached out to him. I reached out to him and was like, hey, bro, let's do a collab. Hey, I'm doing this right now, all wings, everything, just so you can see, man, I ain't faking it's just, man, I ain't been home in years, bro, like I've been. I've been sleeping, running around, doing what I want to do, enjoying my family, being at home. You know what I mean? Hey, so listen, I really hadn't had no time, but things are slowing down. Me and you are going to figure it out and get down. If you guys can, go by, check out his channel, and look at the different wings he got. I'm going to probably take something off his page and put a, uh, put a little tweak on it myself and go from there. All right. Now, back to hey, Elisa. Huh? My butter is melted. Okay, your butter is melted. All right. I'll oh, see. So you no, know, you got it on what? A medium high, or is that a medium? So look, the key yeah, is can... look. The key is we don't want to burn our butter right now. So if it's on a like, go in between medium and high. Let's go with a medium high heat. Okay. Okay, that's the. It's there. <laughs> okay. For now, let's go ahead and uh, start introducing some of our uh, our flour. Look, just a little bit at a time, and you want to continue to whisk. You You're making me nervous. <laughs> ah, hey, look like hey, that look like me doing. More? Do you, do I want to add more? Yeah, add, yeah. Now this, this, listen. How much did you have in there? Did you have a quarter cup? Yeah. Yeah, you just go ahead and put it all in there, but just keep doing like you're doing. Once you got it all in there, you want to keep it on that medium high heat. You just want to keep moving it around. Listen, we're going to start looking at it and we're going to watch the color change. That's what we're looking for. All right, the Dog Father's Barbecue. Are you getting back to uh, smoking and grilling or are you strictly a kitchen now, bro? I get it. Uh, what do you say? I get your angle as to why you're doing it. Hey, so now if you want to pick my brain, I'm going to tell you what I learned and I learned this by accident. Everybody know I started my channel with, the, of course, the name that I have. Keep going, Denise. I'm watching everything you're doing and you're doing fine. And you're doing fine. Just okay. You can you can stop whisking right now. Clean your whisk okay. out. Just let it cook a little bit. Okay. You know what? Do you have any? Uh, you got any? You you might want to add just a little bit of oil in there with it. Okay, so just a little bit. Olive oil, fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Matter of fact. Too much. There you go. <laughs> that's good. Go ahead and just give it a whisk. Oh, JB's Barbecue and Guns. Hey, thanks, bro. Hey, really do appreciate that. That's what's up, man. He just dropped a super chat in here, Lisa. Uh, hey, we'll just keep up with it. You know what? This is just as much your show as it is mine. So, you know what? At the end of this season, we just chop it up. Hey, you deserve everything. You know what it takes. Hey, it takes a lot of courage to get out here. CJ knows. You know, all those people that go live know that this is not easy. And it can get expensive, too. Okay. Hey, that's what's up, JB. All right. Hey, Dogfight, look, so got the channel started. Keep going. We just want to cook a little color into that, Lisa. So just keep going. You'll notice that the color is starting to change now. I can see it. So my thing is, listen, when you seasonal, most of the country is like either white right now or extremely cold. White meaning snow. So if you're doing a barbecue channel, just ask yourself about the algorithm. How many people are looking for barbecue videos in the winter time, in the fall. This is why my channel has grown, man, because I had stews and stuff like that. You know, like one of my seventh or eighth biggest video is a uh, is a beef stew, you know, things like that. So I had learned that. Now that I'm at home, you guys saw I put out a video. Keep keep cooking it. Give it a whiff right now, Elisa. Hey, you're doing, hey, you're doing good. I just want to answer this for everybody that's in here so they can hear. Uh, 
Okay, so you saw I came okay. out my season, my grill, you know, my Lone Star, right? So what I did was I filmed several. I got f three more videos that I've done already, but now's not the time to just release it. Right now, I'm focused on my holiday. That right now, because if you notice, man, I'm trying to grow my channel. Uh, to know my personality is to know that, hey, 200,000, hey, we just getting started. Hey, sky's the limit. And I'm big on this. If anybody knows me, if you don't believe, nobody believes. So I live what I say and I preach, you know, I preach what I say and, you know, I, I walk the walk. You know what I mean? So listen, I got the videos. I'm getting ready to make two more. Uh, I got two more steak videos. I'm going to release them throughout. But just think, it's the Christmas time. It's just so tough to put that out. Nobody looking for it. Unless my subscribers tell me they want it, you know what I mean, and want to see it, then I'm going to put them out. But I'm going to sneak a couple in here, though. I'll probably drop four videos before the end of the year, though. You know what I mean? But that's just getting everybody warmed up. But to let you know, man, just as many, go ahead and give it a whisk. I see you. Give it a whisk. You see that color changing? You can turn that heat up a little bit. That's what it's, I'm looking for. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it the same way as I'm seeing it, but it's getting this, like, caramel-like color. Yeah. So, look, you're just putting a color in there. That's good right so there. Like, and that flower became a thickening agent. Yeah, it's like caramel flavor. Yeah. How brown do we want to make it? All right, now listen, this is where, uh, that's a great question. That's up to you. How dark do you want your gravy to be? So just in case you don't know, us in the States, I'm going to give a quiz right now. Tell me, you guys, what is she doing right now? What will we call that? Hey, you guys, drop the answer <laughs> down here in the uh, in the comment in the comment section. I don't even know what I'm doing, right? No, you, 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 <laughs> you hey, you, you're, you're doing excellent. It smells nice. I would never think it would like just the butter and flour would smell so nice. All right. I mean, mm -hmm. are you good with that? If you don't want it to be uh. Hey, and you know what? I want to say, hey, thank you to Soul Food Cooking. That's the moderator in here. Hey, doing a great job. And we got one more moderator here. That's uh, Cooking with CJ. Hey, thank you. Hey, you guys have been on top of it. Hey, continue to do what you do. Hey, and they dropping it in there right now. At least what you're doing is you're making a roux. So listen, if we were doing a gumbo or something like that, we would have used something a little different, but the same concept, and we're going to cook it. We just want it to be dark. You know what I mean? Uh, so... If you want a light gravy, you understand what I'm saying now, Elisa? Yeah. If, yeah. So if you want it to be a little darker, we can go a little, you know, you can just continue to, you know, <clears throat> you know, continue to cook it. But you can see as you whisk it, the part that's on the cast iron skillet, see how it's dark, and the other part is a little bit more tan. If you turn that heat yeah. up just a little bit more, you can get to your, uh, you know, your desired look, you know, much quicker. Yeah, my pan is a little bit bigger uh, than this uh, uh, thing, uh, thing. but it's interesting that you mentioned that because I was thinking what's the difference in light gravy and dark gravy because I've been researching and watching online and there's always like a light gravy and then there's a dark gravy and now I know how to make <laughs> how the color changes. I have. I would have never thought it's like this. I would have thought it's uh, by adding something dark into the gravy, but that's really interesting. What is that? Is that Neil, uh, Big Mister Strider? It says, uh, "Listen to this. Hey, perfect. Light roux thickens more, hey, but dark roux has more flavor. Absolutely. And that comes Thank from like both. having that dark <laughs> when you char something or something like that. Look, that be the flavor. A lot of people don't understand that." I did a Cajun uh, sausage and shrimp uh, plate, and a lot of people telling me like, "Hey, you went too far with the uh, with the sausage," but they just don't know. You know what I mean? It's a difference if you're cooking for the flavor or if I'm cooking for TV. All right. So I like that color right there. I'm gonna ask you now to go ahead and get your uh, you gonna get, go ahead and get your turkey stock. I mean, I hey, I okay. feel like I ain't even really gotta make that right now because you got it, you got it down. Okay, now you promise you're not going to laugh because my gravy is not like, it's like jelly. <laughs> so nobody oh, okay. laughs. Okay, so you made it. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, I made it with bones. So I think I have like a lot of bones in there. So I'm just adding a little bit first or? Yeah, you just want to add a little bit to it. Just add a little bit. 
There you go. Whoa! There you go. Whoa! I'm burning it. No. Okay. No, you you do it just fine. What you want to do is just reduce your heat a little bit. Yeah, once I add one side even more. Yeah, you're gonna add more, but you reduce your heat a little bit. Yeah, I reduce it. Okay. There you go. Whoa. There you go. I'm so worried. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't be. Hey, you making the gravy. Don't you see it coming together right there? It smells good, though. It smells really good. You know what we are going to have for dinner tonight? What's that? <laughs> Turkey with gravy and mashed potatoes, of course. <laughs> Because it's dinner time for us. Okay, I'm going to add in some more. Oh, it's, it's becoming really beautiful. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> I've been waiting. To, hey, that, look, I'm over here. You got me on, on the edge over here. Lori wants to know, what is that that you add? Give her a description of what you're adding to it. Uh, right now, I'm adding uh, this. This is my homemade turkey stuff. Did you this hear right that? Here. That's her turkey stuff. Jelly. <laughs> That's only because you made it. You know, you made it early and you, you produce a lot of grease. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes yeah. I skim some of that grease off. You know what I mean? Uh, but the grease, hey, listen, that's the flavor. Don't you see that right there? Ooh wee. It's looking good. Yes, it is. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Mm, smells hey. nice as well. You know what, you guys, you know, just being honest with you, I'm set up to do it. She did a great, let me just say this, she did an excellent job. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, the only thing I'm going to do is replicate that. But the only difference is, you guys, hey, the only difference. Hey, that's right. Fat equals flavor. All right. Oh God, just a second. Is this ready now? I think I like the thickness, so I wouldn't probably add in more liquid. Do I just remove it from heat now? Uh, let me see the thickness. Get you a spoon. Let me. I want you to just coat yep. the spoon and then hold it up. Because I want to add the seasoning. So should I add the seasoning first? Well, let me just. Well, you can do that too. I mean, you got to do that before you stop. You know, that's like the final thing. If that's enough gravy for you, you can add some more to it. it as long as you cook it, it'll continue to thicken up. If that's enough okay, gravy for just, you know, you two, then that's fine. Yeah, I think it's enough for now. Okay. Like, I, I will do like this. Now, turn it upside down. Yeah. I mean, hey, hey, you guys. Hey, tell me this. Do you think that's the perfect uh, consistency for the gravy? Drop a seven or drop a five in here if you think she should get it a little bit more thick. Oh, if it I was up to me, it. I'd say that's a seven right there. <laughs> Hey, that right there, hey, that's that commercial. Hey, you know what? I got to keep, stay over there in Germany. I don't want you over here. You know what I mean? Because, hey, you putting pressure on me. That right there. <laughs> okay. But, Joanna you know, you taught wanted, me this. Hey, they you, wanted to go a little me. further, huh? Uh-oh. Hey, some people like their gravy thick. Some of them like it, uh, you know, just the way you got it. That right there is perfect. I'm going to tell you why for those of you guys that dropped a five in there. So, listen, when that cool, that's going to be what you want. You know what I mean? Because when you take it too far, yeah. it's perfect when it's hot. But when it's not, you know what I mean? Then it thickens up. It'll get a little too uh, too thick for you. And then you got somebody, if it's anybody like my cousin, he coming to hit the gravy. And because it's not so thin, he didn't hit the gravy and half the gravy gone. Hey, he does. Just in case, I know you ain't in here now, but just in case you come back and watch this, bro. Uh, hey, I, I ain't talking nothing like that, bro. You know how we get out. Okay, now look, earlier I started talking about, hey, dog father, I got you. You said the keto or gravy. I have not. I gotta check yours out. Let me let me look at that and let me let me put that West Coast on it. And I'm gonna start embracing the West Coast. Cause everybody think I'm from the South. My Let's roots. Uh, my roots are from the South, but you know what I mean? Hey, this this is where I've been born and raised, right here. All right. So look, only difference is with myself and her making the uh, gravy. What she doing? Her exact doing what she's supposed to right now. Once you get it, you gotta taste it. That's already cooked. She should be able to taste it and see. How much pepper and how much salt she needs to add to it. You know, for me, I mean, I just bring some of that Creole seasoning you got right there, too. Well, you know what? I'm going to take that back. This is Thanksgiving, you guys. We just want to use salt and pepper. We don't want to overpower nothing because we want to enjoy the taste of our turkey, which we already got Creole seasoning on there, also. Now, this right here, everybody got to get themselves one of that. 
one of these. Tell me right now. Drop it in the comment section below and tell me. Not the comment section. Drop it in this chat right now. Chat and tell me you know what this is right here. Here, I'll even open it up for you. I know this is an easy one, y'all. What is that, y'all? You know what this is. <laughs> this right here, I call this that liquid gold. Right now, it's in paste form, but mm, yes, sir. Cook it with CJ. You jump right out there. You got to have this. So listen, any gravy I do, I usually start off by making uh, some uh, bacon grease. You know, making some bacon and rendering that fat down, and that'll be my base. She used butter. You know what? But okay, on Thanksgiving, I start off with butter also, but I always add like a tablespoon of this too. That's the only difference. But she made an excellent gravy. And I'm not going to come behind you, uh, Elisa. You did a great job. Uh, you could just see everybody just was dropping the sevens and fives. Only thing about the fives is they were just asking to make it thicker. But as it's cooling, it's getting thick on its own anyway. So now I'm going to ask you. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Because you're the artist. You're the food artist. You know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and ask you to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut mine and carve my uh, turkey also. After we uh, I carve it, we're going to just uh, look at the presentation and just see. And don't forget, you guys, we okay. both got a turkey breast. So she can cut hers. Uh, matter of fact, while I'm talking, I should have had this in there. This will be for later on. You guys going to have to wait. Alexa, set a timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. All right. And again, I just want to use my instant read, and I want to get it to an internal temperature of uh, 160 degrees. Now, I'm not going to brown the top. Cause look, this is just for my sandwiches or whatever. I'll season it, you know, how I need to in my slices for my sandwich. Now, let me go ahead and get set up. So you want me to start setting up my plate? Yes. Okay. Uh, hey, if you guys don't mind, this might go just a little bit past uh, one hour. Right now, we got about three more minutes. It'll be one hour. So it look, I'm looking like this might go about 15 minutes or 20 minutes, you know, past the hour. If everybody good with that, we'll continue on right now. We get ready to do the uh, plate. You know, carve this turkey up, cut some slices, hit it with some of this mashed potatoes. And I don't have no great. Oh, actually, I do. I got gravy in the refrigerator. I'll hit it, and then we're going to go for the presentation. Are you okay with that, Anissa, going like an extra 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's with me cutting meat perfectly, but I'm going to try my best. So it's been resting uh, more than than usually you would rest it for just 10 minutes, but because it's been resting for a little longer, it's not um, the juices are not pouring out. So if you're wondering why it's looking like this, and uh, well, <laughs> my turkey breast is looking a bit different because I used one breast and I just cut the breast into two pieces. Uh. So. Yes, you can do duck fat. Yep, any fat is good. Hey, dog father, CJ, Josh, what you know about this right here? <laughs> you about to find out doing just one set. So half the reason that I'm in the kitchen, you know what I mean? Because you got to have, look at this right here. You got to have the tools. This right here is a... Uh, Hey, I just love it. Hey, now forgive me. You guys will be surprised, but I don't always cut my own turkey. You know, so let's just go ahead and, you know, we just do it like this. And I have the mashed potatoes as well. Oh, man. You, I wish you guys could smell this. Hmm. It's uh, not as soft because it's been sticking. So what I like to do is still warm. Yep. I'm just going to add a little bit of milk to it to make it softer. I think mashed potato is also like uh, the same question comes, like gravy. How soft do you want it? Some like it uh, 
less often, so I like it like really almost like too deep. I like it on the softer side, so I'm going to add in some more milk. Hey, what y'all think about this right here? Tina, want to know what type of knife this is? This right here, I use this whenever I do a brisket. You know what I mean? This is when I come up with my slices. I like to get one like a little longer than this. These right here, these only uh, these not they're not that expensive. I think I paid like seventy five bucks for it. Yeah, I I feel you, and I see that as I was cutting it. I can see that. All right, let me move this here. So I'm just re whisking. Right. Thank you so much, Mari. It tastes so great, A.B., thank you so much. I love this gravy, and I'm going to be making gravy now. <laughs> From now on, my family better get ready, because that's what, what I'm going to be making now. <laughs> so, do you want me to pour the gravy over? Uh, you know what? I, I'm going to just say this. You're the food art, artist, so I'm going to let you do you. I would never, oh. ever let you, uh, I would never, ever tell you nothing. So I think that he... Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Yeah, I can still see you. Okay. Okay. I'm almost uh, ready. Oh. See. Jeez. You cannot see me. All right. No, 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 no. You, you're looking fine. Hey, you just went out. Okay. I'll leave it on. Oh, there you go. You're back. There you go. So we got that. Now I'm getting ready to heat up this... Uh, let me see. I'm going to heat up my, my gravy. Once I get my gravy, you guys, then I'm going to go ahead and just put it on top. I'm going to leave it like that so you guys can just see that, you know, I'm going to pour it on top. And this is the gravy that I made that you guys just seen from the video I released. You know, I mean, I took some out. I had froze some, then I brought some more out. I divided it up into thirds. Okay, I'm just checking because I'm not sure. Is, is everything working on my side? Like, can you see me and hear me? Yes, I can something see you. Off? I can see you and hear you. And let me go ahead and just move this down. I would have maybe made the gravy just a tad bit cleaner. Oh, well, yours? Work just because it was standing here and we have windows open but it, it has time to pick it up. I would love to add some green. Someone said uh, about some green on top so I don't have any. I'm just going to decorate with some with some rosemary. Like this. <laughs> just like that. I know it's not perfect but 
You can't where's say that. Where's you where's can't where's say that. Look, after you made that gravy right there, that I decided not to make mine. I mean, there's no need for me to do it. That would be redundant. You did a very, very good job. Just adding some black, fresh black pepper on top for decoration. All right. Now that I got this, that's what I like about it. Look. Oh. So look, my gravy just a little bit darker than yours. I cook mine a little longer. You know what I mean? Uh, but I like my turkey gravy to be just a little darker. That's all. You know what I mean? But that's more of a personal preference. You know? Yeah. So now we'll just put a little of this on here like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone's saying it looks good. You know what, guys? I'm hungry and I can smell it. And <laughs> you know it's <laughs> Maybe I should maybe I should take a bite. Should I try the gravy? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try. You're making all the yummy noises, so I'm gonna <laughs> try with hey, look. all the turkey. That right there. That's it, y'all. Alright. Let me get this up. Mm. It's so good. Mar, you good with it, huh? Good. That right there, that's out of sight. I can't tell you. Uh, man, I wish I could serve this to everybody. The turkey, the gravy, it's just everything is perfect. You guys should be late. Thank you, Gary. So good. All uh, right. Hey, be safe at work. Have a good time. And thank you, you know, for attending. Hey, you, what are you talking about? Just drowned it? Hey, you know what? So, listen, I, of course that's what I do. That's why I ain't hardly no gravy here now. I've been eating way too much of that. But again, this is it, y'all. You know what I mean? Uh, you can see. Let me turn it this way so you can see. You have to show me as well. You have to show me on this side <laughs> so I can see as well. Okay. Here we go. Oh, because you're seeing it yeah. over here, huh? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. That's looking good. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, look, super easy. You know, uh, main thing I want you guys to take away from this today is, listen, when you're making your gravy, you saw that you just got to keep doing it. You can just see how easy it, it is. Uh, I noticed she said she was watching my video. Uh, she must have, I don't know what you did, but I don't, hey, you, you got it faster than I did. I struggled with gravy in the very beginning. I think it was me being impatient, but you stay with it. You got to, you know, stand over it. You got to keep whisking. Once you achieve your color, then you go ahead and then start adding your stock. Everybody got that. And then the most important thing is, listen, once we got it ready and it's cooked, we want to taste it and make sure we don't have any more of that flour taste inside of it. You know, as we were cooking it down, that's what we were getting rid of, along with adding some color to it and flavor. And we want to make sure that we taste it so we can add our salt and pepper. That's key. You want to get it, you know, so that it tastes good from the gate. You know what I mean? So, hey, you did an excellent job. Uh, I don't okay. know what else to, uh, to even say. You know what I mean? I don't know if I cut my hair or not. I don't know if I take my hat off to you. You did a very, very good job, Lisa. Thank you. But I had the perfect, perfect. I had a really good teacher, and I, I don't think I would have made this without you because at that moment when we started adding the turkey stock, you should have seen my face. I was so worried. I thought I ruined it. It was like going really funny. But because you told me just keep on going, keep on adding the turkey uh, mm -hmm. stock, mm -hmm. then it went perfect. And I can only say it tastes really great. It doesn't taste, I cannot taste the flour there. I can only taste the flavor uh i think the turkey stock is very important probably when it comes to gravy so i would really recommend to make your own turkey stock because i know it's with mine uh with the gravy i didn't even need to add any salt because i think the broth was so the stock was um uh, so flavorful that i didn't need to add any extra salt to the to the gravy so I only added some black pepper and a little bit of thyme because <laughs> I love that dry thyme. So that's the only thing I added. 
Okay. Uh, hey, it just looked good. Oh, look at there, you guys. The Dog Father's Barbecue just dropped a twenty dollar super chat. Great cook, AB. Happy, oh, happy holiday, y'all. Hey, thank you, thank you for myself and Alicia. Hey, you know hey. what? Hey, man. I, uh, hey, just truly, I don't do it for that. You know what I mean? I do it, you know, like just like get closer to like the people that subscribe to my channel. You know, to show them. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, this is what the world needs. A little bit more, I guess, human human interaction. It's all different types of people in here, you know, different walks of life. You know what I mean? And uh, that's what it's about. That right there, man, is what, you know what, that helps me. Hey, that you know what, just between you and I, bro, that just means a lot, man. You know, and everybody else that has given Super Chat, whether it's been in here or you did it in uh, Battle of the Kitchens. And I'm going to go ahead and put a shameless plug in here. Battle of the Kitchens is coming back. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, right after the first, we finna get it in again, y'all. Hey, just want to say thank you. Uh, Kiwana's Kitchen, hey, thank you. I see you. I need to uh, uh, put something in there, you know, uh, just to add like another moderator. Uh, hey, great job. I think your chemistry and uh, Elisa in here, you know what I mean? You guys can uh, just, hey, this is the platform for all of us to showcase our skills skills, and to teach those who don't know. You know, uh, I'm sure that's that what's you up. Can make, oh, I'm, I was making the gravy for the first time, so if you're scared and you're thinking, you've never made it or it's never worked out, then I made it for the first time and I had to do it in the camera. I actually thought AB is going to make it, so he made it. <laughs> he made me make it, but as you can see, it worked out, it tastes great, so we are showing you that anyone, even if you are just starting with cooking, you can still uh, make the same things that we do here. All right, uh, you, you know, uh... I'm going to just say thank you, Elisa. I, I'm starting to think you didn't have been making this all week because you, you just made a gravy that was flawless. You did everything just the way I would do it, enough that I didn't even have to make no gravy. You know what I mean? I guess I was the fail say. Uh, hey, Ron Rupert says, sorry, joining late. They just want to know, can we do this all over again? I'm going to go ahead and say that would be a negative, Ghost Rider. <laughs> hey, so just go ahead and watch that replay, you know? Everyone can watch this. Uh, there will be the video will be there. So I saw someone asking about the turkey. We did the turkey at the very beginning. So if you want to watch it, how we season the turkey, you can see that uh, once the video, well, once this live is over and the video is going to be up, you are going going to uh, be able to watch it from the start. And also, as we've mentioned a couple of times, the recipe. AB has put everything, all the details in the description box. So look in there to uh, find all the information, all the spices, spicing, <laughs> all the spices that we use for the turkey and also the recipe for the gravy. Right? Right. Uh, you know what? I want to touch bases on this too. Listen, there's a lot of comments and a lot of people in here to say, what's up, AB? Listen, I'm going to go back and read them, you know, as they play. Hey, thank you guys. Listen, I'm a, I miss a lot. You know, I try to like pay attention to the stream, pay attention to what you know she's doing. I'm hosting everything here on my end. You know, it's just a, it, it's just a little bit. I'm gonna say time consuming. Uh look, it's just a lot of details. You know, they gotta be making sure that my T's is crossed and my eyes is dotted. You know, so listen, if I missed anybody's name, I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm gonna go back and watch this in a couple of hours. You know, and just see how it looks to you guys. Uh. Hey, listen, you got Cooking with CJ. You got Soul Food Cooking. There's several channels in here. Hey, listen, I can't even remember everybody. You got the Dog Father's Barbecue. Hey, listen, there's great channels out here, you guys. You're going to go by and check them out. I don't never really say that because I never wanted my live to be done of that about, hey, hey, you guys go here and all that. But them are good channels. You know, for me to mention them, you know what I mean? Now, listen, they every all of us are going places. That's what I got to say. So you guys in here to subscribe to me. There's other channels in here also. You got Kiwana's Kitchen. Go by, check them out. Listen, you, this is where we get our ideas from. I do it myself. I go out and look at these other channels myself. I might not always, you know, drop a comment in there or whatever, but I hit the like button, you know what I mean? And uh, I watch it in, in, in its entirety, and then, you know, I, it, it gets my, my creative mind going. You know, and then we got, hey, Kevin, you in here? My own homie, you probably gone. You better drop a seven in here real quick, Kev. Hey, but listen. That, hey, that's another cat I get inspiration from. See, listen, he thinks outside of the box. So, with that being said, you guys, listen, I'm not going to take up all of your time. It's Saturday. It's time to uh, get into some things. 
And, uh, hey, I appreciate everybody, uh, you know, watching this live, staying with us. Hey, and to the Godfather, hey, the barbecue Godfather, that's what I'm going to start calling you. Not the, not the, not dog, dog, not dog father, but just the barbecue dog father. Hey, thanks, bro. Hey, really, really do appreciate the super chat, bro. And, uh, hey, when you guys give super chat, it goes right back into the channel. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, just whatever I can do to make this channel better. And now I'm paired up with Elisa. Hey, thank God, you know, she let me, uh, you know, uh, be in alignment with her. You know what I mean? And uh, sky's the limit, you guys. Hey, and before we go, I want to say this. We're going to do another show. It'll be before Christmas. And think about that, too, Elisa. Do you guys want to see another themed, you know, Christmas holiday? Or do you want to see it through the... You want to see Elisa and I do something crazy, you know, for the holiday. Hey, let hey let me know. Hey, listen, theme will be seven. No, no, we're going to change the number. If you want something theme, we're going to call it a 10. If you want something crazy, let's have some fun right before the uh, Christmas holiday. Go ahead and drop a five in there. You guys let me know for those of you guys that's in here. Oh, uh, cooking with CJ say cook a German dish. Thank you, all wings, everything. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that a couple of times. CJ has been saying we should make something German. So maybe I should mm -hmm. think of a German Christmas uh, thing and then we make it. Would you guys prefer a savory dish or a dessert? Let us know. I don't know what should we ask. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh... They want, maybe add one in the comments if you want uh, a savory German dish. Mm -hmm. And then if you want a dessert, then add a sweet. Hey, 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 you know what? The German dish might be good. You know, I'm I'm looking to expand my horizon. Hey, but I'm going to show you guys this, and then we're going to get out of here. I'm going to let Elisa go ahead and say what she want to say. Hey, you see this right here? Y'all know what this is. Okay, main. You know what this is, Elisa? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a potato slicer. Oh. I'm getting ready to uh, do a video okay, later on tonight. Using that, but hey, we finna do something wild, you guys. Hey, that's the only hint I'm finna tell you. Hey, Kiwana, I saw what you said. You say do it all. Hey, you think like me? Let's do it all. If I could, I would. I'd be on. I'd be going live, but you know, Elisa, she ain't going. She can't make it like that. But I'd be going live every weekend. All right. Hey, so thank you yeah, from my end. Like I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, wrap my end up. I'm gonna let Elisa wrap it up, and I'm gonna count it down from five, and then we out of here. Hey, thank you guys for uh, attending. I appreciate it. Love all the, you know, uh, the love and support. I see y'all. You know, uh, no matter how many subscribers I get, I'm going to still be me. You know what I mean? Hey, just 100 coming from me. How you see me now is how you're going to see me 10 years from now. And with that being said, Elisa, I had a good time. You did an awesome job. Uh, thank you. Say what you have to say. Uh, again, Dogfather uh, Barbecue, thank you. And Elisa, take it away. Thank you, A.B., and such a big thank you for me, and I, I know Cameraman is liking it as well, so we really, I really enjoyed learning how to make the gravy today. I love learning new things, so thank you so much for teaching how to make the gravy. I hope you guys also enjoyed it. You know my channel is in the kitchen with Elisa, so I'd love to uh, see you guys over there, so come say hi, uh, and we will see you next month with something delicious for Christmas. I hope you guys will be joining. It's maybe going to be German because everyone seems to <laughs> ask for something German. We will still plan it with AB, so we'll see whether it's going to be something savory or uh, a dessert because it has to fit into the kind of the one hour ish <laughs> time frame. But we will definitely bring something delicious your way. So I cannot wait to see you next month. Okay. Hey, sounds good. Uh, somebody put in there a German chocolate cake. Ooh, my folks would be happy with that. What is chocolate that? Chocolate uh, and, you know, the black uh, oh, okay, cake. okay. Milton 7. Mitten, what is that? Uh, let me put my glasses on. Make sure I get your name right. Oh, Mitten 7. Okay. I see you. Hey, we're going to figure it out, and then we're going to make it happen. If we don't turn up for the uh, for the Christmas time, maybe we do one of those savory uh, German dishes. But I promise you, in January we're gonna have some fun. So don't forget, you guys. Listen, we like to. I would like to put the uh, ingredients or whatever we're gonna do in, whatever we're gonna do for that live, like a week before. It'll be fun if everybody just go ahead and uh, 
If you let me know, I can add one more person onto the screen. Let's just do that. If anybody want to be involved with it, come January, we can put one more person on the screen. We can have three cooks in there. You know what I mean? We can have fun. Uh, hey, let, let's just have a good time. You know, turn up and uh, hey, go from there. Hey, that's something to grow with. All right, you guys. Uh, hey, cameraman. Hey, thank you. Elisa. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you to everybody in the chat. If I don't hurry up and be quiet, you know, we're just going on forever. Hey, appreciate everything, you guys. Hey, and I think we about to be out of here. Let me go ahead and grab my mouse, and I'm going to count it down. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. We out of here. Five, four, three. Hey, thank you, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.